friends, it's Miss Jillian. Today for story time, we're going to read The Rhino Who Swallowed a Storm, written by LeVar Burton. Does that sound familiar? It should because this is a Reading Rainbow original. It's also written by Susan Schaefer Bernardo and illustrated by Courtney Fletcher. Let's get started. In the middle of the morning, Micah Mouse trembled under the blanket. A storm boomed outside her window. Rain crashed against the glass and wind rattled the shutters. More than anything else, Micah was afraid of storms. A year before, a powerful hurricane had destroyed her home. I'm scared, Papa, she said. There's Papa. He's reading the Buddha Times. We are safe, Micah. This storm will pass soon, said Papa. Would you like me to read you a story? I know just the one to help you feel better. Micah loved books, and Papa's gentle voice soothed in a way that made her forget all about the thunder. Papa opened the book and began. Let me read the book on this side. Long, long ago, before there were words, animals roamed in bountiful herds. Little rhinoceros lived happy and free, exploring mountains and meadows, rivers, and trees. His world was delightful and chock full of magic, until out of the blue, the magic turned tragic. A storm swept through the valley, turning bright sky to black. A flash flood came raging, no time to react. Lost in the thundering, no time for wondering. Chaos and lightning, furry so frightening. Earthquaking, him shaking. Water rumbling, him tumbling. Raggedy, jaggedy, senseless calamity. The storm crashed through his world and tore it apart and took away everything dear to his heart. Rhino was stunned by the terrible scene. Death and destruction all through the ravine. Enraged by the pain of such great loss, Rhino acted without a thought to the cost. Rhino looked at his world all tattered and torn, stood out on the ledge, and swallowed the storm. Wow. Here's the storm. Inside his belly, he felt the storm growing. Inside his head, he heard the howling and blowing. Like a tornado, he spun as the storm raged inside, growing bigger and bigger and wider and wide. Then he finally stopped when he regained control. He was at the very bottom of a very deep hole. Oh no, what to do? Rhino worried as rain dripped down his face. I'm lost and I'm lonely and in such a dark place. At just the right moment to comfort and guide him, a spider dropped down and dangled beside him. There's a spider. The world up above is shattered and gray, but it's where you belong, so you must find a way to let that storm out and move through your sorrow. You'll find many helpers on your road to tomorrow. Oh, but that hole was dreadfully deep, and the walls all around him were slippery steep. Rhino tried to climb out, but was losing all hope when Kangaroo heard him and threw down a rope. Though Rhino was heavy from the weight of the storm, they towed him right up, got him safe, dry, and warm. We're strong and steady and always ready. We, when danger strikes, we hop to it. Fire, flood, snow, or mud, when help is needed, we'll pull you through it. Watching those heroes do what they did best gave Rhino the strength to set off on his quest. The storm he was clutching made him buzzy and blurry. It kept his brain foggy and filled him with worry. Where do I go? What do I do? How will I ever make it through? After every dark night, there comes a new day, says the bees. Be kind, do your best, and you'll find your way. Up comes the sun. There are steps to complete. There isn't a map. Just follow your feet. Rhino followed his feet to a wallowing spot where he plopped on a rock and had a deep thought. I'm tired of caging the wind and the rain, exhausted from holding this anger and pain. We're all on this earth to learn and to grow, a wise old tortoise chimed from below. Allowing yourself to start feeling your feelings is the very first step on the journey towards healing. It doesn't much matter if you're fast or you're slow. If you want to move forward, just trust and let go. Rhino shook and shimmied and stomped in the muck. And just as he hoped, that storm came unstuck. At first, one little raindrop leaked out of his eye. Then Rhino let go and had a good cry. His tears formed a river that flowed to the sea, where a pot of whales swam happy and free. I do feel better, Rhino thought as he drifted. Then up swam a whale, and Rhino was lifted. 
If you ever feel blue, the well said with a spout, remember to breathe, breathe in and breathe out. Sing your own song and take it deep, deep, deep. Then rise above with a joyful leap. As he floated home on a gentle wave, Rhino felt calm and strong and brave. His vision was clear like the sky above and he looked at his world through eyes filled with love. He thanked the kind spider and the brave kangaroo and all the others who'd helped him through. He was glad to know that if he ever lost hope, they'd lend him a hand or throw him a rope. He had journeyed his journey a very long way to find the light in a world turned gray. He swallowed a storm with no thought to the cost. He felt all alone, he'd been tumbled and tossed. Life would bring changes, beginnings and ends, but he had faith in himself and faith in his friends. As they curled up together, he felt loved and protected, and he dreamed of a world that was safe and connected. He understood now it was love that mattered. Love could never be lost. Love could never be shattered. And we're back to Mike and Mouth. Papa closed the book and gave Micah a hug. I know it was scary when our home was destroyed last winter, said Papa. Bad things happen sometimes and we can't always control that. But we had lots of helpers, said Micah, just like Rhino did. That's right, little one, Papa said in a gentle way. You're never really alone when bad things happen. There are family and friends, even people we don't know, who are always there to help us through tough times. The end. There they go. What comes after the storm? A rainbow. The end. Hope y'all enjoy the rhino who swallowed a storm and stay tuned. We'll have a, a video later for craft time. Thanks. Bye.